Hey everybody and welcome to another kind of tutorial on this channel. Uh, in this set of tutorials, a new series that I'm uh, making on my channel, I'm going to be doing a learning statistics with Jamovi kind of tutorial. So I'm leaving that old series behind, doing other random things. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow an SPSS book that I found. Uh, and so each video is going, to ha is, is going to show you how to do all the things that you love about Jamovi, but in a, we'll call it a, uh, a textbook way, I suppose. So starting from the very basics and working our way through an undergraduate education in Jamovi, so to speak. I mean, I'm obviously not going to be teaching you statistics for your particular course, but this set of videos hopefully will be useful as I follow an SPSS book to transition you away from SPSS, because that's honestly my goal, to transition you away from SPSS using this lovely little V app that we got here, Jamovi. Okay, so for this particular episode, we are going to talk about um, this set of display. We've got, um, we, we've got our window here. We've got the spreadsheet. We've got the output telling us what version we're using. At the time of recording, I am doing 2.25 there. Okay. Um, and hopefully, uh, I've got my, uh, yeah, there it is. So if I hold the keys here, you can see that I've got my Key Lime Pie by Ryan Hansen. Um, I, this video will show the watermark, but I think I'm going to purchase to remove the watermark. But in any case, free advertising for this guy. So as I hold these keys, uh, this will show up. Um, it's only showing it only shows like command keys and things like that or control and option at least on so this is a mac i'm going to be using mac know that when i do like command c or command v if you're watching on uh, for a windows machine then that is control for you and, and option would be alt i believe and then the mac control is i don't another kind of control key i honestly don't know okay so in this first video i just want to talk about navigating this space here okay uh so there are what we see up here when you open up jamovi window and of course i have no i have no uh data file open so we have untitled here. So this is just a complete empty window. Uh, and on my, this in 1080p, you can see that you get a lot of information. Ignore this uh, top bar up here, but you get a lot of information that you can put in. Okay, so the spreadsheet is, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight columns by default and 50 rows by default. That's how it opens. Um, eight by 50. Uh, it gives you the splash information on the output. And then we have these four tabs. So as you are navigating your data in Jamovi, what you'll tend to do is go back and forth between these tabs. So first and foremost, by default, you get started in the analysis analyses tab, which means that we've got all of these analyses that I can use, right? Basic stuff will be from exploration up to factor, I believe, and base. Everything else after that is going to be packages that you add, which I'll talk about in, in another video. So we have the we start in the analyses tab. And uh, recently, uh, a variable tab was added. But the other place that you will likely spend some time in is the data window. And this is how you can use spreadsheet controls to set up variables, compute variables, transform variables that you already have in your spreadsheet, add columns, delete columns, use filters to separate out values for various analyses that you might want to do, add rows and delete rows. Of course, we don't have any rows right now, so the delete button is grayed out. You do start with three random nominal variables by default, but if you are going to add in your own data, you would you would want to change these. Now, before we move on from data, I want to talk about how, and you can you know do your paste, cut, and copy over here, but the partner to the data tab is the edit tab. And this is where you can do a number of editing within the results window, okay? So data is for the spreadsheet, Editing is for the results window here, and you can do a number of fancy WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get editing here. So you can do you know, your basic bold, italics, underline, strike throughs, but you can change scripting, uh, subscripts, superscript. You can change shading as well as font color. We've got an undo and redo button, of course, our clipboard, paste, cut, and copy. Then we can justify our text within this window. We can uh, left, center, right, full justification. We can add numbers, bullets, and increase or decrease our indents. We can also include formulas. So you can include, uh, you know, your... Uh, Pythagorean theorem, or you can include the um, area of a circle. Um, you can add in code blocks, which might help you if you plan to take this information and plug it directly into R, the programming language and statistical open source statistical package that uh, R, uh, Jamovi is based on. Excuse me. Um, you can change headings, right? So we have results here, but then we can change the size of the headings and then we can add in links. So if you give somebody this, that link will appear in rich text format and you can move. Okay, so that is what the results window and the edit tab do okay so we've done data we've done edit let's go to variables here and this will list in list form 
all of your variables. So here, like I said, by default, we are given A, B, and C. That's every Jamovi window you open. We'll give you A, B, and C. You can describe the, the uh, variables here, okay? This is a variable, right? And we can change things by selecting these. If we wanted to, we can select them all and make changes to them. We can double click on any of them to bring up what is considered the variable setup dialog box. This gives you the data variable name. This is the name that appears in the list. Okay. Underneath is the description that'll appear over here. We can change our measure type from nominal to ordinal to continuous or make it a variable that would not be allowed in any analysis. So if you have subject numbers from 1 to 50, for example, you don't want to accidentally put that in as a variable into a correlation because that's going to be bad news bears, right? So it's going to give you garbage. So these are our three. So nominal, ordinal, and then interval or ratio would go under continuous. And then we would just ignore um, the ID or we would you know, put subject numbers or ID numbers or case numbers or whatever kind of identifying number. Um, we would use the ID. So Jamovi knows that you shouldn't put it into any kind of analysis window. Um, how you want to deal with uh, missing values goes in here. So if there's an empty cell, you can put, you know, 9999 here. It'll bring up the missing values window. I don't have any because I, use, I tend to leave uh, missing value cells blank. If it's a nominal variable and you have values in the levels, like uh, 0 and 1 for uh, a dichotomous, uh, dichotomous sex variable for male and female or a gender variable man, woman, you would put zero means you know, woman, one means man or something like that. Um, if there are any unused levels in your analyses, then you are going to click this box to say yes. OK, and we have a, uh, a sideways right carrot here that's or Chevron, I should say, that is telling us that we can move to B very quickly and we can move to C. And if you click this one, it won't work, but then we can come back. Uh, I do wish they made these a little bit lighter depending on a um, little lighter or darker, depending on whether there's a, an ability to move forward or after or get rid of it if it knows that there is no there is not one after because I can't click it. But in any case, that is the variable view. Now, you can get to this by being in data and double clicking on the column heading. OK, so you don't need to worry about um, missing out on where to do that. Now, to close this, you just click on the up arrow and it gets rid of it. So that is how you operate the various tabs in Jamovi. Stay tuned for more of these as I go through each uh, minute detail on how to use Jamovi in statistics. Thanks for watching this video. Until the next one, see ya.